Alistair Patton. See, this is... I'm, I'm not sure, like, what your aspirations would be here. Um, I think maybe... Nature. Could be money. I could be... It's either Deviance. love. It's either love or fortune. I should just make it deviant to make you super evil. I feel like it would be fortune over love, though. Yes, definitely. <laughs> it's your aspiration. But you're very self-assured. Make you family-oriented. will make you a bookworm. And there you go. That's Alistair Patton. And you have really big lips, baby. So we are going to, we need to find the right pair of lips for you. The nose is really weird. It's way too narrow. Your, your nose is, you've got a nice, you've got like a perfect nose, baby. No. Yeah. So your nose is a lot more pointy. It's got like a nice dip on it. My lips bring are that big. Your lips are pretty big, baby. You've got nice big lips. Big luscious lips. Oh, your eyes are green, but like what shade of green that is the question. Because sometimes your eyes turn black. But I should put your beauty mark. Because you have a nice little like... Pretty beauty mark right there. No, I don't. You do. That's the one. It's all in the sweater. Oh, green looks good. Yeah. Do you have a green one? No, I wish I did though. Yeah. Yours is like yours is like that color. Hint, hint. No. <laughs> we have to bring. You got really nice legs. Everybody always says that he has really nice legs. Thick thighs make the. What are my aspirations? Um. Creativity. Yes. I'm family oriented. I'm hot headed. I like the outdoors. Which one's look more like me? Let's that pick one. let's pick one. I'm gonna have to customize them anyway, so it doesn't really matter which one it is. It's just as long as it's that. uh yeah. And we're gonna go with this one. I feel like this one's pretty good. We're gonna do a whole overhaul. This dude's about to get really, really ugly, really, really fast. Yeah. There's a couple features on here that are already pretty accurate. Like my lips are pretty accurate on this one. Then my jawline's not all that strong, so we gotta make it more rounded. Is it supposed to be baggy or is that his thigh? I don't know. Like, he's got a weird body, so we got to fix this. Yes, <laughs> It might be because of the pants. But I have, I, my classic look is always a black shirt and jeans, some blue jeans. So you're, I got to give myself some blue jeans. You're definitely buffer than this, though. So. Baby, you don't have a thigh gap. And then. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my boots. That, that, the outfit. It looks spot on. Is it's spot pretty. On? <laughs> I have a custom content hat. Maybe I'll do that. But the hats always look really weird on The Sims. We'll do black. I usually wear a black hat. Do you? Are you happy with yours, or is there something else you would like to do with yours? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> there is so much. Yeah, baby. <laughs> You're not that dark. I know this is how you see yourself, baby, but it's... We'll, we'll go with we'll that. Go with that. We'll That's go after with you've that. tanned for, like, a summer. What is up, y'all? Thank you so much for checking into today's video. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic week and are, I was going to say, enjoying COVID, but that doesn't seem right. Uh, <laughs> video's already a mess. Are enjoying, not even enjoying quarantine. You know what? Nobody's enjoying quarantine. I hope everybody is staying safe, happy, sane, healthy, active, and are enjoying this time as much as you can. Thank you to all the the frontline workers, essential workers, you know, nurses, all the hospital staff, including janitors, people working in fast food. All of you folks are incredible. Hats off to you. I'm not gonna take my hat off, but you know, figurative, hat off to you. And a big shout out to Audible for sponsoring today's video. I have worked with Audible many times before. I love working with Audible because Audible is one of those services that me and Alistair actually use. We, I've already mentioned that when he's deployed, we listen to audiobooks together. When we're in the car, on the long car rides, we listen to audiobooks together. I listen to audiobooks while I'm working out, while I play The Sims, because The Sims music is horrible, so I turn that down and I'll play audiobooks on my phone from Audible. But I feel like now, more than any other time, is it's a great time to work with Audible because the world really is getting used to a new normal. You know, people are needing ways to reduce stress, they're needing ways to stay entertained. For me, what really gets me in the heart are human stories, so ones that are more realistic. And I always remember my mom having this book, She's Come and Done, sitting on the shelf when I was growing up. And I always remembered the cover. It was a very distinct cover in my memory. And then I saw it on Audible recently and decided I was going to give it a listen. It's by Wally Lamb. And I gave that audiobook a listen. So good. I listened to it start to finish just really fast. It was, it was comparable to White Oleander. I think White Oleander is still the story that it remains, you know, top notch in my in my mind, but this one came very close. And then also currently I'm listening to Daniel's story, which 
was a story that I heard when I was a kid. I remember it being read to us um, in grade school, and I saw it again on Audible, and I was like, hmm, well, let me let me give that audiobook a listen. It's about the Holocaust, so it, it's, it takes a very serious tone, and that one's really good right now. I'm, I'm very much enjoying that, even though it is written for you know, a younger audience. I'm very much enjoying that one. So those are the two I would recommend. She's Come Undone, Daniel Story. Daniel Story is by, I'm gonna look that up really quick because I don't wanna get it wrong. Carol Mattis, and I'll put the covers like up here. So if you're an existing member of Audible right now, they're doing something really cool. Members can now download all of the Audible original monthly selection rather than just having access to two of them. And you get a free audiobook of your choice. Audible has also released something new during this time. And uh, let me read this part out because I don't want to get it wrong. So stories.audible.com. So anybody, anywhere, anytime can have access to hundreds of free titles. You know, no strings attached. So if you're in the mood to go and listen to a couple stories, get your mind off things, go to www.audible.com slash Zach and V or text Zach and B to 500, 500 to get one free audiobook, unlimited Audible originals, and a 30-day free trial. So thank you again to Audible for sponsoring this video. I do recommend you guys going and checking out those two titles that I recommended. Those audiobooks are fantastically read. And without further ado, let's get back into today's video. Are you good? I spilled some coffee on myself. <laughs> <laughs> but we are back. We have built our Sims. So on SimsTube, um, a little subsection of YouTube, if you've never been over to it, there's a guy named James Turner. He's like the king of SimsTube, and he has created a thin house challenge where it's basically there's two townhouses and uh, a little alleyway in between that's like three tiles wide, and you are supposed to build a house, like a thin house between those those two townhouses. The Sim Supply. I think that's the empty one, isn't it? Is that an empty one? Yeah. What, what's in the full ones? It's his his version. So he built his thin house too. So we'll bring it in furnished. Some of the stuff it says it's going to get removed. I don't know exactly what it removed, but I don't have all the packs. So there's the uh, there's our townhouses. We have to fit a house between those two. So it's really thin, but it can go up to four floors. Pretty good. Ooh, I am. Look at that. Look at that. You did something to me. I'm... Uh, <laughs> yeah, you are pissed off. We're going to have four floors. We're going to use the entirety of four floors, so it's not quite a tiny house. I'm not really giving you a tiny house, but it's a thin house, though, so it's, like, playful. It's, like, quirky. Like, you like quirky little things. Bring it up one more. See, when I used to play The Sims, they didn't even have, like, stacked staircases. You couldn't even do that. Wait, how, how many floors are we at? Oh, oh okay. No, oh, you see what we're doing. Oh, wait. Hmm, yeah, you're right. What, am I? Yeah. Because that would bring us to five floors after that. Yeah, I knew that. Three staircases, four floors. You know what? I wasn't the best at math and never claimed to be. Okay, so this was my plan. Is that we were going to have a little patio out here. This was going to be our little patio section. Um, and we'd have an office like right off of it. Okay. And then this floor... Everything's going to be open. So we're not going to have a closed off bedroom. We're just going to have a bedroom right here. Then you're going to have your living room and a bathroom. Um, I saw Deligracy and James Turner both do this challenge, and they both put their kitchens on the first floor because of practical reasons, and I completely agree with that because you walk in with groceries, and you're not going to want to. But where's my reading nook? I'll build you, I'll build you one. I'll build you <laughs> one. I got you, baby. Are you ready for this? This I is just, ready. this is for you, baby. This is for you. Okay. There we go. Ooh, boom, look at it, look at it. How gorgeous is that? I feel like it'll get really hot. <laughs> Everything I do is for you. <laughs> I guess we start on the first floor. I mean, I, I feel, feel like that's... Started from the bottom. Now we're here. No, because we're still at the bottom. Okay, um, I do like these. So we're going to do these. Do we oh, have... These are gorgeous. I know, isn't it? Mm. I thought I thought we're supposed to be kind of budget friendly with this, or, or are you just going all the way? Sims tubers do budget friendly, baby. We have we have almost two hundred thousand simoleons. Are you right? Mm. right? I do like that though, and like when you open it up. So when you open it up, I, I picture indoor outdoor. That's what my idea is. We need to find a door for the front, and I think we should just go with something a little bit mid mod. You know, oh, that's too. Make it in the middle. Oh, I don't like any of those. I like it. That works. I don't know how I feel about the exposed brick, though. I, think I like we should it. paint it white. Sure. Sure. Okay. 
I feel like you weren't really about it, but it's being done. You know what? The you know what I'll do for you. I'll here. Give me one second. This is just for you, baby. Just for you, because I love you so much. <laughs> you get it. You get a couple little green walls. I get a green mm, wall. There I, you go. I, lo- I love when myself a green wall. When you are feeling sad, you come downstairs and you stare at that front door wall. I feel like we should just have the green wall be throughout the whole house, right? Like, I don't want to have to figure out a color scheme for everything. For, like, every single floor. Right. I wonder if they'd get pissed if you, like, painted the side of their house. Does that make sense, you know? I don't think we're allowed to do that, baby. <laughs> I do think some... I'd, I'd get a little, a little angry. A little, a little miffed? Yes. Oh shit! <laughs> You're the it's probably it's house. probably worse painting the inside of their house. <laughs> Oops. So I feel like because it's such a small space, we either need to leave this uncovered, like no railings, or something glass. Glass. You think? Yes. Okay. Though on in like, if this was actually your house, I wouldn't be about the glass. Mm-hmm. You know why? Why? Because I feel like I'd be constantly cleaning it. Probably we have. It's the Sims. We have a housekeeper. We can do anything in Sims. Okay, so hardwood versus concrete. I know how you feel about it. Um, okay, so uh, do you want to try it both? Con- concrete on the first floor, hardwood on all the other floors. Oh, high end concrete. Mm. Look at it. I do want the kitchen towards the back because I want when we open the back doors to have just our kitchen like right outside. It's pretty modern, so we should probably go with something modern. But it should be green to match. That's great. Yeah, I'm about it. Okay. Boy, you don't like it sitting there? Why is it right next to the door? Because when you open the door, it's right there. Yes, and when you close the door, all the window panes crack. There's a little stopper there. There's a stopper. I feel like the fridge needs to be Ooh, look right at that. next to the stairs so that it's easily accessible. What do you think? Ooh. Oh, I like that. Actually. Yeah. Oh, there. You don't want maybe like some what? floating sh- sh- shelves in between or something. <laughs> <laughs> You're so shady. Okay, we'll do that. I don't think. See, the thing. I think with the Sims, though, it's like I don't think you can actually put anything on the shelves. That's a problem. White shelves are like dark wood. Wood. Look at it, baby. Ooh, I like the shelves on top of it, too. Do that. Do it. These aren't necessarily dining room chairs, but... Zachary, maybe if you're... <laughs> you're not about it? Maybe for like 86-year-old old ladies, maybe. It's nice for Dawn... Okay, so Holly's furniture. In her stories, you don't like her Raton furniture? For her. I like it for her. You know what? I like that, but not for me. Is this how it's going to be when we're designing a real house together? I already see it on your face. I see every time I click on something, I see your little hand just like... Like coming over like you're about to snatch the mouse away from me. We only need two. It's just us. It's just us. We have a guest over you. It's just us. We're not going to not have Then let's put, it, let's put a chair underneath the stairs. And we bring it out when there's guests. Okay, you move it. Okay. Are you good at th- Is that really the chair you're going to pick? It's better than what you had. In the comments below, which chair did y'all like best? For the space. (laughs) This one's for you, baby. This was going to be my surprise element for you. Ooh. (laughs) That's a little See, how can we have that and not entertain, Zachary? Yeah. With one chair? You know what? (laughs) Make it two. Why you be putting that in? Because we need that. Here, uh-uh. we'll put we're, it on. We're being here for designing, not for safety. Guess what? I just want uh, to buy a couple. Do cameras. you know what happens in The Sims? Everything we, catches are fire. Are playing it, Zachary? Everything catches fire. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes just lit up like Christmas morning, baby. No. I like the one we have better. I like that. We'll pretend that that's people we know. Celebrities. It's all. It's, it's all. Uh, um. Hollywood actors from the Silver Age. Yeah. I don't like concrete floors on the top floors. I do not like that. It kind of softens it, though, don't you think? Let's do... I saw a really funky door right there. There you go. 
What do you think of that? Oh, shit. Why is the door out? You're just going to walk out the <laughs> I'm meant to put it here. I like that, yeah. I'll just do black windows. Yeah. I like that, yeah. So do one here. For our bathroom? I think one. Um, and we'll just have blinds over it or something. And then the bedroom should have, we just have, should have a wall of windows. Yep. Up here, wall of windows here as well. So Just I feel like windows, windows, and windows on, mm -hmm. on top. Walls of windows, yeah. So walls of windows are probably much better because it just feels so much bigger. They do have black. Ooh. Ooh. So we are now on the second floor. We're going to make this our living area. We'll have a tiny TV. Excuse me. You love tiny living. Hey, see, this is where he gets crazy. Is because he wants a tiny house, but he don't want tiny stuff in his tiny well, house. I, tiny TV, just a regular size TV, Zach, would be fine. What about that? That's fine, yeah. I want something just boxy. Something pretty normal. But, like, I feel like we should pop color in here. Ooh. Ooh. This one? Mm -hmm. Okay. You like that? No. You don't? I think that's nice. I know it doesn't go with modern aesthetic, but I like it. I don't know what happened. It just kept on duplicating. Are you sure it's that's the, the chair you want? Yes, Zachary. It is. I don't want it to go into the wall, though. The Sims is telling you that is not the chair for you. We can put a bookcase upstairs in the damn office. You're going to deal with it. No, no, uh-uh, 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 Excuse Ooh, me. Ooh, I get this. This is mine. No, you can have that, but I want a bookcase right next to it. Ooh, look at that. That is you sexy. Got your, you got your tiny uh, TV. I want my bookcase. A bookcase where? Okay, then that's not my reading nook. Get rid of it. <laughs> okay. Well, how about we put your reading nook in the office upstairs? Where it's super freaking hot all the time. <laughs> Why is it hot? It's because not everything is windows. <laughs> I don't think so. We're in London. You said that you're making this for me. <laughs> we'll put a bookcase above there. How about that? You could have at least put a like a little floating book bookcase or something. How about, how about we'll do that then? And then we'll have a bigger book bookcase in the room by my by my chair. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> okay, you know what? here. Well, this is what we'll do. Oh gosh. That one? It's darker, yeah. Okay, okay now let's do a side table <laughs> right next to it. You cannot side. have a side table. There's no room for a side table. You're cluttering. You know what, Zachary? <laughs> next video, I'm going to go in here and renovate <laughs> your... I think it'd be... Okay. Is that better? No. What do you think? We'll do it. I'm, I'm good with that one. It's looking a little cluttered, but you know what? Papa Blue. Mm. This one's gonna be like super easy. Watch this. Put a black one in there. Ooh, you would die with that. Why? It's a oh, glass. I know, I know. My parents currently have a, at their house, a shower like this. And with the glass doors on it, I remember like grabbing the handle and pulling, pulling it over. When I did, when I tried to slide it, the entire door like shattered all over me. And I was in, I was in the shower and it cut up like all my feet and everything. <laughs> and I was like scared to text anybody about it i was scared to text alistair because he freaks out over everything so i knew i i just sent him pictures <laughs> <laughs> like didn't explain it, anything it, 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 honestly i was just i just thought he was trying to get back at me for uh splitting my finger in half i feel like your entire deployment we were just like getting back at each other this injury that injury this injury that injury and a toilet paper roll toilet paper is pretty hard to find nowadays though Bathroom done. Oh. Is that too bougie? We'll just do this. I like that. Yeah. But well, wouldn't we put a mirror there? Would that not make sense if we're getting dressed and we have a mirror there? But because I want a wall of mirrors like right here. Okay. Should we? Can we do both? Can we put mirrors on the ceiling? <laughs> yeah, we'll pretend it's there. And then we need a bed. We're not gonna be able to have not stands because it's just too small. Um, we'll just do black and white. Oh, I like that. That's fun. Yeah. I like it. We would never do white, white bedding in real life. I know we have an ottoman somewhere. There we go. Let's put an ottoman well, here. I like that. Yeah, I like that too. Isn't it nice? Mm -hmm. Like some, some candles. candles there, because you love candles. You know. I, I feel like this There's one... some shelving. Ooh, we could do shelving. In a bookcase? Oh my goodness, I thought you'd never ask. Last floor, we'll do the same. This will be your little... This is going to be our office, and you'll have a little reading nook up here. Um, I think we should just go for something modern, though. 
Okay, but I think you need to get rid of some of the windows on top. What? Um, More glass. <laughs> we're keeping that. We're keeping it. I'm sorry. It's happening. Why? It's happening. We'll get rid of this. Where are you going to be? What do you mean? We, we're lines. sharing. We're sharing. See, like, whenever I'm working, you'll just sit here and you'll read or something. But where is mine? And when you're working at the computer, I'll be there. We can either do that or here. Now here's another option. Um, we can use the desks from Tiny Living. Let's do that one. Really? Or, you know... I'm okay with I've, it. I've, I've I'm, I'm not mad about it. Can I'm not we, mad about it. Can I try it. something out? Are we doing a double disc? I, I, see, I see kind of what you're doing. Can I, can I jump in and edit? Okay. Okay. Green. It's mine. I'll have my computer because I have a Mac. And you have a laptop with... We'll do a little TV screen for you. Okay. You with it? Mm-hmm. Alrighty. And then right here we will do... Where is... I need a little... Here. We'll do this. That sucks we don't get that chair. Well, you know what, Zachary? <laughs> You know what? When Alistair lays his foot down, it stays down, ain't it? Okay. Um, let's do some stone. We'll do some real nice stone. Perfect. I was planning on giving you a pergola because you love your you love yourself some pergola. If I was on fixture upper, I would always cho choose that third option, the pergola. Nobody, Nobody ever chose the pergola. Mm -hmm. That's a, that don't make any sense to me. Yes. Okay. All righty, come on. Bada bing, bada boom, bada pow, bada poop, bada lick. Simple, got some greenery there. Put chairs so you and I can sit out and enjoy a nice day. Just do that. That looks good. Mm -hmm. So we have a table, we'll do some outdoor lights. I think we're good out there. Let's, you so have now. To do the outs uh, outside though. Yeah. What do you think about some dark blue? And then down here, maybe some wood paneling. Match that. I like it. With, what size is that? I think it's that size, right? Put it right there with a plant on the outside. Good? Yep. That's Ooh. Our new house. That's our city. new house. There we go. I love it. Okay. Come downstairs. And we got our front door there. Very nice, simple. Everything's pretty nice and simple here. We've got our green kitchen with shelves that are for decoration purposes only. Concrete floor. I hate concrete floor, but you know what, baby? I love you. And Alistair's bar. <laughs> We've got Alistair's bar there. Um, put your shoes there. We've got an extra chair for guests, a coat rack, and dining area your living room very simple everything's very simple in here alistair's little reading nook upstairs in our bedroom nothing's closed off so we have a little uh a closet area nice little his and his little seating area a bunch of windows that really i feel like makes it look I, I really so like the much windows. more open I really do. the windows and the mirrors like i love how they bounce off each other i feel like living like this it's kind of like tiny living yeah it's like four floors but it's pretty narrow and so you have to keep it a little bit less cluttered. I feel like that makes sense for us, honestly. The, the, the two offices. I'm good with it. I'm, yeah. I like it. This is all the places we've been. Um, <laughs> we've got we've got Cozumel and... Lawton. Lawton. Denver. And then our little outdoor, you know, sort of patio area that I we like go it. to. I do too. It's I nice and it. cute, ain't it? And uh, that's our place, baby. Thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's save it. I feel like you're actually going to get it for me. I'm actually going to get it for you, yeah. You should. All right, let's see what we're going to do here. What are we going to go do first in this? I think we need to stop Fight. stop being so angry with each other. Um, oh, look, Alistair, you are fine. Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to kiss. Oh, oh, we're talking already. Talking about sun. Yeah, I'm not saying you should get, a, you should get some sun, bro. Oh. Oh, we're taking a seat. Ooh, it's the seat on a little park bench. Yeah, I'm going to kiss you.
I think I'm going to go for it. Are you allowed to do that? We're married. I made us married. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. This is so gay. See, this is where this is where it turns into a Zach and B vlog. Cue the music. That doesn't look like me. It looks just like you. Do that little face. Do it. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for checking in with us. Bye, guys. Goodbye. <laughs> Hey, hey, if y'all enjoyed this video and want to see me do some more Sims, whether it's gameplay or some Sims builds, I'm going to start uploading those a little bit more on my bonus channel. So go over there, subscribe, and give it a watch.